What lessons can Bangkok learn from the recent Bank uh, Arawan bombings uh, concerning the use of civilian camera? Well, I'm not a local here from uh, Thailand, but of course I've read about the tragic event in press. And uh, one of the things that struck me was I read that 80% of the cameras in uh, the city surveillance, they did not provide a video, either if it's all or it was a very bad image quality. And I think personally that uh, traditional city surveillance systems are very often based on analog cameras. Mm -hmm. And analog cameras provide very low resolution, mm -hmm. uh, which is like the same resolution we had in the fat TVs. Mm -hmm. But we all have replaced the fat TVs since about 10 years with thin TVs, which run in HD resolution, mm -hmm. which of course is significantly better and gives you better ability to watch what's going on. The other problem, I think, is very basic. And that is that in the same way as when we walk out in the streets, mm -hmm. our clothes get dirty and mm -hmm. we change clothes after a day or two. Mm -hmm. uh, this is also true for video surveillance cameras. So video surveillance cameras, they get dirty. Mm -hmm. And if you mount cameras on places such as the Bangkok Skytrain, mm -hmm. after a year, uh, they will be dirty and they have to be cleaned. Mm -hmm. Because without cleaning, uh, obviously, you can't see what we are watching. At. What about the recovery of footage? Uh, Thai police take many days to do that. Yeah, and that's also an uh, effect of mostly being analog cameras mm -hmm. because they are typically connected to a local recording device, which is called a DVR, a digital video recorder. Mm -hmm. And these are typically not integrated in a larger system so that there is a surveillance. Uh, central that can easily recover the data. So in this case, the police probably had to go to the individual DVRs and watch the video footage. Uh, also, a common problem in city surveillance applications is that cameras are simply broken. Mm. So it could be that they have the analog cameras, it could be that uh, the cables have rusted and are not working any longer. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, the guards, they know about this. But the problem is that they don't have procedures set up so that when a guard sees a non-working camera, he could call a supervisor to send out somebody to fix the problem. Mm -hmm. And this is, of course, an operational problem, but nevertheless, it means that the system isn't working. And in larger organizations, this is quite a common problem. Mm -hmm. So thank you for your time. Thank you very much. It's great to be here. Thank you.